this is Johnny Blaze and we just received this package here at Twin Family Headquarters from Stone Age Gamer. Uh, and this is the big thing I was talking about. Let's look at the packing thing here. I love how they included a business card with it. I had that on my wallet actually. It's scary. And of course they sent the coupon code. I'm covering up the coupon code because I want a chance to use it. Um, usually lasts for about a month and a half after you received it. And of course, you look on this side here, they have, uh, I just opened this, you know, because this way I can open it with one hand. Um, but I haven't opened it yet. Um, I love how the guy has a sense of humor. Snarf, snarf. I think that's Thundercats. Um, Zack Attack. Oh, brother, never watched that show. I watched it, but I really don't like it all that much. Package using blast processing. How ironic. Uh, package exceeds 88 miles an hour. Go back to the year 1985. I wish. <laughs> on, on to the festivities. Let's open this up. It's very well packed. Oh my god. Not peanuts. Not again. Well, we know what to do with peanuts like the last time. In the sink of death you go. Ha! Damn peanuts. I hate those damn things. And there's more in the bottom! Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in this. And this is it. The EverDrive Mega Drive. This is the first of the EverDrive series. Excuse me. Of course you have the thing on the side here. Yeah, the glare of the light. I think it's glossy. There we go. Let's just show it a little better. Now let's look at the feature, shall we? Genesis Mega Drive Flash Card plays most Genesis Mega Drive 32X and Master System games. Easy to use menu system, supports Game Genie, because all they have yet to try that. Loads ROMs off of an SD, SDHC, or MMC memory card. Now, I know there was a um, uh, thing for that recently that was released, but I don't know if it works. Um, of course, the 32X requires the add-on, mass system, ROMs play on Genesis hardware only. And I'll get into that in a minute. Let's open this up. And we have two vouchers. Um, used to be in, um, used to expire actually. Um, one used to be six months from now, one used to be a year from now. Um, I just, it says free firmware upgrade. Which is cool, you know, you have that for uh, intensive purposes. Stone Age Gamer sticker. I don't know where I'm going to put that, if I'm going to put it anywhere at all. The full color manual, and let me tell you folks, this is actually a full color manual. I mean, it's not like a regular homebrew manual where it's just printed on inkjet paper. This is the real deal. It looks, it's an actual pamphlet, folks. And basically tells you everything you need to know, which we're going to go into in um, this video series. And of course they make uh, Super EverDrive, Master EverDrive, EverDrive Game Gear. And, of course, there's an EverDrive 64. And here it is. The EverDrive Mega Drive. Um, of course, this is the 2 gig. And it has the label on it already. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Hope I don't screw that up anytime else soon. And of course, they have a, you can't really see it, that it's an SMS pause button, so you don't have to buy the power base converter anymore. This cartridge is actually really well done. You see English and Spanish PDF manual available on SD cards. Obviously, the card's formatted already. You have your serial number on the back. It's not a lot of salt, must not have sold a lot of these. Mine's only 174. And of course, it comes in the universal game case which I've been uh, talking about for so long now. Um, basically, this can hold 
pretty much any cartridge ever released and you can see on the internet what I am talking about in regards to that. So let's go to the computer and let's put some ROMs on this. Now bag. of course we're going to set up the EverDrive Mega Drive. We have the SD card, SD card in the computer there. Now here's the thing. I, I already made this list up beforehand. Let's zoom out. Ha! Ah, Windows 7. Sometimes it's a pain, but in this case with the snap tabs, it's actually pretty helpful. Now, one thing... Now, I'm sure this is common knowledge, but just in case. Uh, of course, that's where the manual PDFs are on the... On the uh, SD card. And uh, it, it's big because I've been zoomed. But here's the thing. If... Now, I'm going to delete those because I don't really need them, but for an SD card, of course, it's already formatted to FAT. Normally, if you were to buy it from Chris, um, you have to format it yourself using the Format OS, but most likely it needs to be in FAT, not you know, which is technically called FAT16. Now, it takes away space to format, so out of 2 gigs, you're getting 1.86 gigs. Now... Here's the thing. A lot of people think that... Let's go move over to this window. A lot of people think that it can hold every Genesis ROM, you know, not can, every Master System ROM 32X. Now, for 32X, I can understand that. But Genesis, the good set, comes in at over 2 gigs. So the best thing to do is to do what I did. Take out the game, you know, take out the duplicates, which means if you live in the United States, you can take out, say, the European and Japanese versions of a game unless you really need it like Bare Knuckle 3, which, you know, everybody knows by now the difference between it. Um, so basically I have my Genesis ROMs as United States. I also took out all the prototypes because I really don't need that either. And you could see I did that with the Master System and 32X. Now, as you can see, my car, my folder comes in at, clocks in at 1.54 gigs. And which is pretty acceptable. You know, you also want room for your save states and what have you. Um, as that, that's how I have my folder. And here's another thing you need to know: the directory is limited to 240, I believe, because that's I think that's the problem with the FAT system. Now, to circum circumvent this, here's I. This is what some people do, and this is what I rather do. Um, of course, the numbers go here, and then A, B, C, D, all the way down to Z. And which also it helps, because if you want to find the game you're looking for, you don't have to rummage through the folders, you can find it quickly. Master System, I did the same thing. And 32X, I left alone because there's not enough games. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was horrible. Um, also, for the Master System, it does not work with the SG-1000. So don't bother putting any of those ROMs or download that ROM set. Now, this is the good set version. Um, I also made one with the no intro because some people have a difficulty with that. It does not play SMDs, at least not that I'm aware of. But these are gen files, so they should work okay. Um, it just matters about the header in the ROM. The SMD, the headers screw up because it's meant to work with a copier. Um, of course, SMS files, and of course, the 32X ends in 32X. All right, so, oops. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to drag and drop. And it's copying. So, go to the, you know, go freshen yourself up, get something to eat, or whatever. It's going to take about a couple minutes, and then we're going to see if we can get to the gameplay.